Are your kids struggling to understand how to multiply fractions, especially with whole numbers? Let's handle this right now. To multiply a whole number in a fraction, you simply pull out the one that's hiding in the whole number. So this becomes 3 over 1 times 3 halves. And multiplying fractions is easy. You multiply the numerator together, so the number's on top. 3 times 3 makes 9. And then you multiply the denominator. 1 times 2 is 2. And you have your, uh, your multiplication done. Okay, let's try another one. How about 4 times 3 quarters? Okay, so here's the 4. 4 over 1 times... Here, let's just use a fresh piece of paper. How about 4 times 7 eighths? Okay, so we are going to multiply the top and the bottom, but first let's turn that 4 into a fraction. Because it's a whole number, the denominator is always 1, because one unit is one whole section. There's four of them. Okay, Times 7 over 8. So this is 28 on top and 8 on the bottom. If you'd like to reduce it, you can do it either before you multiply or after. Let's try this one after. So I'm going to divide top and bottom by 2 because I see that they're both even numbers. So this is 14 over 4. Oh, I can reduce it again, can't I? So 14 over 4, divide by 2, divide by 2. And now I have a 7 over 2. And there is my final answer. Okay. If I wanted to do it before I do all this, then all I would need to do is take a look at the 4 and the 8. And do you see how 8 is 2 times 4? Okay, so then the 4 would cancel with that 4 because everything's multiplied. Okay, And my answer would be, this would be a 1, not a 0. So 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 2, that's the only thing left here, is 2. So I have 7 halves. Let's try another one. I have 9 times 3 sixths. Okay, so this becomes a 9 over 1 times 3 over 6. Let's reduce a little bit before we dive into multiplying. Okay, so 9 is 3 times 3. So this 6 here is 2 times 3. Okay, this 3 can cancel with that one, that one, or that one. Take your pick. <laughs> Okay, and it becomes a 1, right, because 3 is 1 times 3, and this 3 is canceling with that one. Okay, so then 3 times 3 is 9 over, the only thing left here, 1 times 2. So this becomes 9 halves. Okay, let's practice more problems. Suppose I have 7 times 4 sevenths. So that's 7 over 1 times 4 over 7. Do you see how the 7's cancel? Okay, so this becomes a 1 times 4, which is a 4. This becomes a 1 times a 1, which is a 1. So we write that answer as 4. You kind of see and getting the hang of this? Yeah, okay. So what if we have a number like 2 times 1 and a third? Okay, so what we do is we're going to make this an improper fraction, okay? So to make one and a, th we have to turn it into something because otherwise it's a little difficult, okay? So one times three, so we're going to multiply these things together and then we're going to add this, okay? One times three is three plus one is four and the denominator stays the same, Because okay? this is one and a third is the same as four thirds because here's one and a third, and if I color in the whole thing, that's one, two, three thirds, plus one more third is here. So one, two, three, four thirds. Okay. All right, so now we're going to multiply by two over one. Okay. Two times four is eight. One times three is three. Yeah, should we try one more example? Okay, how about five, six, times 3. Okay, 
five, six stays the way it is, times three over one. I'm going to reduce this. This is two times three. And this three cancels with that three. Okay, so I am left with five times one, which is five. And on the bottom, I'm left with two times one, which is two. So I have five halves. Is your child struggling with math, but you don't know it well enough to give them the help that you wish you could? If you can relate, you're not alone. Lots of parents have the same challenge, but don't worry, I can help. I've created a program that will teach kids all they need to know to get ahead in math. I even offer small group online tutoring. Now, you can enroll in my full year program for less than the price of just one hour with a regular tutor. To learn more, visit getmath.net slash learn.